Anaphylaxis is a severe and potentially life-threatening allergic reaction that can affect the entire body. It can cause a range of symptoms, including swelling of the face, lips, tongue and throat, hives, wheezing or difficulty breathing, rapid heartbeat, low blood pressure and loss of consciousness. Anaphylaxis is usually caused by exposure to allergens such as foods, peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish, insect stings, medications such as antibiotics, aspirin or latex. It is a medical emergency and prompt treatment with epinephrine or adrenaline is essential to prevent serious complications or death. Allergies, usually non-life-threatening. An allergy is a reaction of the immune system to a substance that is usually harmless to most people. These substances, known as allergens, can trigger responses in the body, leading to a wide range of symptoms such as itching, swelling, hives, coughing, sneezing and difficulty breathing. Allergens can include foods, medications, insect stings, pollen, mold, pet dander and other environmental factors. Allergies can range from mild to severe. Adrenaline, what does it do? Adrenaline reverses vasodilatation, which is the widening of blood vessels, reduces swelling, eases breathing difficulties, increases heart output, which is the amount of blood pumped by the heart, prevents cells from releasing chemicals. EpiPen use. Follow the casualties anaphylaxis action plan if able to do so. It's very important as it is tailored specifically to their needs and may contain critical information about the appropriate use of the EpiPen. If the casualty does not have an action plan or if you are unsure of how to administer the EpiPen, it is important to contact emergency services and seek medical assistance immediately. Action plans must be supplied to child care centres and schools by the parents of a child who is diagnosed with anaphylaxis. In a workplace, this is not compulsory. How to give the EpiPen for anaphylaxis. Position the casualty. The casualty should be placed in the correct position, depending on their symptoms. The most common positions are lying flat on the ground or sitting upright if they are having difficulty breathing. Get the EpiPen. The EpiPen should always be with a casualty if they have a known allergy. If the casualty does not have their own EpiPen, try to locate one as quickly as possible. Remember to check the expiration date and inspect the EpiPen for any damage. Pre-administration checks to follow. Checking the date ensures that the medication has not expired and still is effective. Checking the correct dose is important to ensure that the correct amount of adrenaline is delivered to the casualty. The viewing window, this is a trainer device, the originals contain viewing windows, allows you to see the adrenaline solution and check that it is clear, which indicates that it has not been exposed to heat or light that could potentially make it less effective. To administer, remove the blue safety cap. Hold the EpiPen in your dominant hand with the orange tip pointing downwards. With your other hand, remove the safety cap by pulling it straight off. Place the tip on the thigh. Locate the middle of the outer thigh. Press firmly with the orange tip against the skin. The EpiPen can be used through clothing if necessary. Inject the medication. Push down on the orange tip until you hear a click. Hold the EpiPen in place for three seconds. One, two, three, to ensure that all the medication is injected. Further adrenaline should be given if no improvement after five minutes. Remove the EpiPen. Record the time adrenaline was given. The orange end encases the used needle after administration. If the casualty is unresponsive, DRS ABCD. And a pen use. To administer the Anapen auto-injector, follow these steps. Hold the Anapen in your dominant hand with your thumb and fingers away from the black tip. Remove the safety cap from the black tip. Firmly press the black tip against the outer thigh of the person, making sure the Anapen is at a right angle to the thigh. 
Hold the Anapen in place for at least three seconds to ensure that the full dose of adrenaline is delivered. Remove the Anapen and note the time the adrenaline was given. Check the viewing window on the Anapen to confirm that the red plunger has fully extended, which indicates that the dose has been delivered. If needed, administer a second Anapen after five minutes, as directed in the person's anaphylaxis action plan. Call for emergency medical help and continue to monitor the person's condition. Summary. While it is important to consider anaphylaxis as a possible cause for severe allergic reactions, it's also important to recognise that there are other potential causes for such symptoms, such as asthma or other medical conditions. It's important to assess the situation and provide appropriate treatment based on the individual's specific symptoms and medical history. If in doubt, call for emergency medical assistance.